just where did things go wrong for Kerbal Space Program 2? The game launched back on the 24th of February. It's now been available for around about a month and a half or so. And as many of you will no doubt know, things have been far from ideal. Now, in this video, I want to look at the stats and the numbers for KSP2 and see where things have been and speculate to where things may be heading. So this will be a lot of statistics, a lot of data. So if you like that sort of thing, do stick around. But before we get to that, I want to make it very clear that this is not me beating up on Kerbal Space Program 2 Intercept Games or Private Division. I don't really want to get into the rights and wrongs of what has gone on there as, well, many people have discussed that to death. At any rate, let's dive in and look at some stats here. We're gonna start with Steam Charts. And I know not everyone is a fan of this website. After all, Kerbal Space Program 2 is available on other locations other than uh, just Steam. But nonetheless, this does give us an insight into some of the stats as well as some of the trends. And we can see immediately that when the game launched, it had 11,800 players at the peak. And that's uh, pretty good numbers overall. But the real problem is the most recent 24 hour peak, which is 519 people. These are extremely low numbers. By comparison, let's jump over and have a look at the first Kerbal Space Program. KSB has a 24 hour peak, a current 24 hour peak of two and a half thousand players. Now, in some respects, it's not fair to make a direct comparison because after all, KSP2 is in early access. So it would be expected that not the, the numbers wouldn't exactly match, that KSP2 should perhaps be lower. But the issue comes when we look at the history of KSP2. So jumping back to Steam charts here, we can see that initial launch number, 11,800 players, and how rapidly that actually dropped. Within a few days, it was down a well below at 10,000, and in fact was pretty much half the original number very, very quickly. Now, it is true to say that a lot of games, their numbers do drop very, very quickly after launch. That's not unheard of and not unexpected. The rate of decay here is not exactly good, and doesn't give me a lot of confidence really in the way things are going. We can see by the time we reach the 28th of March, just a little over the, a month from KSP2 launch, the numbers were well below 1,000 players within a 24 hour period. And we can see that continues to decline. So as yet, as of now, it seems that the number hasn't found any stable ground. For now, the numbers are unfortunately uh, continuing to decline. OK, so let's jump on over to Steam. We can see that the reviews, all time reviews are 51 percent, but the more recent reviews have moved up to 61 percent. So that does show that the sentiment towards the game is improving. Although if we have a look there, we can see generally what you'd expect. People are saying just wait. Uh, that seems to be the general consensus here. So, of course, the game is in early access. People would expect it to be somewhat buggy. But the consensus here seems to be that it's somewhat more buggy than would be expected for an early access title. Meanwhile, if we look at the original KSP, everything is still overwhelmingly positive. So uh, KSP1 is still considered to be a very good game. Now, it's important to point out that Intercept Games and uh, Private Division are not abandoning Kerbal Space Program 2. They are continuing to work on it. And as we can see here, patch two is due later today. It hasn't arrived just yet as of this recording. Um, I will be talking about that as soon as the update does release. There should be some patch notes to give us a bit of insight as to what to expect. But the, but the real question is just how long is it going to take to get the game into a well, semi-decent state? It is playable kind of by an hour at the moment. But, you know, there's just so many problems that will make it fundamentally very difficult to achieve any objectives. So for now, yes, I'm very much focusing on player numbers. I do think this is important for the long-term future of the game. At some point, uh, Private Division and even Take Two are going to be looking at the numbers and the uh, profitable return that they're getting on this game. How long are they committed to put it into this game with relatively low player numbers or extremely low player numbers in this case? It's a concern I do have. I know it's a concern that some other people also do share. So whilst uh, Intercept Games are committing a long term to this game, we don't really know 
whether the publishers are going to commit a long term as well. But hopefully they will do that. Now, let's have a look at something else here. We're looking at Google Trends and we can see the overall popularity of KSP2 over the past 12 months. So this works as a percentage with 100% being at the height of the popularity around about launch. Everything else is relative to that point in time. So we can see that right now we are down at just 9% in terms of popularity compared to the launch period, which kind of takes us more or less back to at this time last year. So not great for a game that's this close after release. We can actually compare this in terms of relative terms to, let's put in there, Kerbal Space Program 2. And we want to choose the video game, not the search term. And we can see that right now, in terms of internet traffic, in terms of web traffic, KSP is way more popular. Let's have a look at what this means for YouTube. And again, in terms of YouTube, well, KSP has too has had some extreme popularity for a while, but that's now on decline. And in fact, if we do head on over to uh, YouTube, this is a YouTube video search. It's filtered by videos this week and videos by view count. And we can see we've got, you know, quite a few videos here, but some are very high profile people, some a very large channel was good old Matt Lone there is doing very well. But overall, the general consensus seems to be that not too many people are posting videos on KSP2 at the moment. And well, over time, hopefully this does pick up. But for in modern times, I'd say, especially for early access games, word of mouth is very, very important. So that means things like Google Trends, uh, YouTube videos, reviews, all of these things are good indicators about where a game may stand in a few months from now or even a year from now. It's very important, really, that Private Division and Intercept Games manage to uh, keep these numbers up. So it's important to realise that these numbers are just public information. We don't have access to the numbers that uh, Intercept Games or Private Division have internally. Those would be the full player numbers. We don't have access to anything like that. Um, and that really limits our interpretation of this data. It is somewhat basic. But it does give us some insight as to where things may be heading. For now, I don't have any major concerns about the future direction of KSP2, and I'm inclined to believe in Intercept Games when they say they are committed to this long term. I don't really see any reason to actually doubt that. My main concern will be once we get the first major update, which will probably be the, um, the science update, which should be coming hopefully within the next few weeks, or maybe even the next month or two, once that gets comes, Hopefully that should turn things around a bit, uh, be sort of a semi campaign style play of games whereby players can earn science to use as unlocks. This was a, a really popular mode in KSP, the first game. So hopefully it should be a, a really popular mode in KSP 2 as well. So my take on this right now is as follows. The launch has been bad, but things have picked up over the previous weeks. Uh, the first patch did significantly improve the game. Hopefully the second patch will do as well. We'll find out later today. My personal concern is that player numbers have dwindled over the past couple of weeks. They're now around about the 500 mark, which isn't good at all. But there are quite a few games in early access that have those types of numbers and they still uh, carry on to the point of release. So for now, I'm not overly concerned my next focus is going to be on seeing what the science update for KSP2 does, and hopefully that will turn things around. I think at that point, we'll have a much better idea of how things are going to stand with the future of the game. So uh, there we have it. Do let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Do you think all is doomed? Do you think there's no hope for KSP2? Or do you feel like that, well, it's just a matter of time will tell, and that with enough love and attention, and obviously the developers are very passionate about the game. I know for a fact and first hand that they do love the game. And that with enough attention, KSP2 will go on to achieve great things. Do let me know in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys and girls next time.